What's up guys, welcome back to another Destiny 2 Forsaken News video. Today's video. We'll be going over the This Week at Bungie post for September 20th of 2018. Gonna be going over everything inside of the TWAB and just some of my thoughts. So first up, the Lash Wish raid dropped last Friday. It took Worlds First 18 hours to complete. That's insane. It was Clan Redeem, consists of people like Ehor, Indica, um, I'm pretty sure like Modern Tryhard and some others like that as well. It took him 18 hours. Like obviously like Last Wish is crazy, crazy amount of puzzles. There's very cool mechanics inside of it. Riven is insane and it, it just looks, it looks crazy, man. Like I can't believe that Last Wish was that awesome. From what I've seen and from what I've played so far, it is tough, man. Like you definitely need to grind out, get a very high power level, definitely above 535 probably above 540 as well just to even compete against some of the ads in there man because it's insane but still super super fun next up obviously iron banner is here and power level is enabled like i, I don't know how i feel about it i mean i i feel like i'm an okay enough level like i'm around like 530 540 so i feel like i can like take out a, a good amount of people fairly easily but for people who are like 500 they get smacked so easily they get dropped so fast and people who are like 15 light above them completely drop them like super super fast so i don't know how i feel i, I really don't like the power enabled stuff like it kind of caters to the hardcore players that can actually play and with those bounties coming in like you need to be able to complete the bounties and the only way to do it is to basically get wins and kills create orbs and just stuff like that so it i don't know how i completely feel about it but uh, I think there needs to be a few changes to Iron Banner in general. Next, we're going to talk about the new Crucible mode that's going to be coming next Tuesday on September 25th is called Breakthrough. I'm just going to kind of read what they have to say here. So essentially, at the beginning of each round, players will fight to capture a central zone. Once a zone is captured, your team will deploy the breaker. As players work to deploy the breaker, the zone can be contested, resulting in an epic tug of war between the two teams. Once the breaker is captured, it will be used to assault and hack the enemy team's vault. If you hack the enemy team's vault, you win the round. If you fail to hack the enemy team's vault within the round time limit, you lose. If you are in the process of hacking the enemy team's vault when time runs out, you will enter sudden death until you either hack the vault or the enemy removes all of your progress. The first team to win three rounds basically takes the whole match, which is pretty awesome. So it's going to be available on September 25th as a weekly featured playlist that's going to be rotating around in there, which is going to be pretty awesome. Plus, we're going to get some new maps in here as well. So obviously we got the new map. Oh, it's basically the remake of Pantheon. It's called The Convergence. It like I'm Pantheon is one of my favorite maps. That's a really it's basically a sniper map, essentially, like both lanes. So distance weapons and well, whenever this qu close quarters come around, shotguns do help a lot, but that map is back. It looks like we'll be getting a new Trials map as well called Equinox. It's in that unknown area with Trials on the 9. It looks freaking weird. I don't know how I feel about it. It looks like a bunch of little pyramids here. I don't know if we're going to be able to go into those and maybe get some sniper lanes or something like that, but still awesome. We're also getting a new map on Nessus called Firebase Echo, obviously based on the Cabal and whatnot. We actually saw gameplay of this one in the, the combat reveal stream way back before Forsaken actually dropped. So that map is going to be coming as well. We got a map called the Citadel. It looks like it's a Dreaming City map, obviously Dreaming City themed here. I don't know if this is like, I'm assuming this little bridge in the bottom right is kind of like the middle of the map. So it's going to be pretty fun. Going to get some long lanes in there. Definitely hit some, hit some crispy snipes with that as well. The last map is PS4 exclusive, so you PlayStation players out there will get access to Gambler's Ruin. It is in the Tangled Shore, obviously very Fallen themed and stuff like that. So it looks it it looks like a piece of the Tangled Shore, but you actually get to face Guardians in it, so it's going to be pretty cool. For the people out there who do not have Destiny 2 Forsaken, there's going to be another Gambit free trial on September 21st through the 23rd, which is this weekend. So you actually get a free trial of Gambit. So like obviously you're not going to have full access to all the content or whatnot but still you will have access to the new pvevp mode which is going to be freaking cool like gambit is fun gambit is awesome like i highly if you don't have forsaken and you're debating it and you've seen stuff about the campaign and the raid and that doesn't get you excited and you're more of like somebody who uh more not maybe not combat but definitely more like uh, PvP wise like Gambit is one of those like sweaty hardcore modes man So if you're one of those people definitely test out Gambit, man super super fun Also, we'll be receiving a double Valor weekend this weekend So basically you're gonna get twice the Valor points It's gonna be September 21st through the 25th Which is Friday through Tuesday this week, which is about to be freaking awesome, which includes Iron Banner 
Moving on to stuff with hotfixes, obviously there's been some stuff in the game like using Telesto in the blind well to rush through rounds. Uh, the offering of the Oracle would remove from the Pursuit Sab because you would fast travel someplace or just leave the area. Like obviously there's a bunch of things. Actually they fixed some of these things. I do want to go over So obviously talk about the offering of the Oracle there. Uh, activity reconnection has been disabled in the Gambit playlist to allow for faster backfilling on lopsided teams. So whenever you get kicked out of a Gambit match there's like two minutes of where people like get disconnected or something like that so next the ace of spades quest no longer requires defeating enemy invaders in gambit but can now instead be completed by defeating either combatants or enemy invaders with hand cannons in gambit matches and it makes me very happy because literally the only way people have gotten ace of spades is literally messaging the other team and saying hey can i kill you with a hand cannon like even though you have sleeper can i please kill you with a hand cannon so like there's people out there that have like talked to me about it and they're like oh how have you not got ace of spades yet is like because i didn't ask somebody to sit on the other team and die for me like i actually put in some effort and actually win some games so moving on fix an issue where the homecoming weapons which is the Travis chosen origin story and last dance could not be dismantled or transferred to the vault that is pretty weird obviously there's going to be some other stuff as well there's some iron banner reward problems as well um i don't know man it's pretty wild so there's also a thing with Tincture of Queen's Foil, which allows you to be Ascendant. And there's one thing that's freaking funny, Edge Transit. It's Everybody knows that grenade launcher by now. Like, yeah, you get it from basically anything. So since the loss of Destiny 2 Forsaken, Bungie has heard the player feedback regarding the aggressive drop rates. And it's funny because their investigation has confirmed that the weapon is dropping more frequently than intended. And they are actually pursuing a fix to fix that, which is pretty awesome. All right, guys, this seems to be it for the TWAB this week. If you want to help support me, there'll be a link below. Say best way to support me. I'll take it to a four-minute video. If you want to go check that out, that'd be awesome. But if you don't want to do that, you can always like this video, subscribe to the channel, share this video, turn that notification bell next, subscribe if you want to be notified when I drop some new content on the channel, and then comment y'all want to see below. Again, I'm making content for you. Whatever you see, I will try to get out there as quickly as possible. Also, we have the Discord link below. There's no requirements to join or anything like that. We also have some text chats going about Destiny Forsaken. Some upcoming games I'm excited about, like The Division 2. Um, Anthem, also Warframe, they're coming out with Chroma Prime, like, that's gonna be freaking sick, and we have some voice chat, so if you wanna talk to me, that's gonna be the best way to do that. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed this video, we'll catch you next time.